Hi right, guys, welcome back. We are um, pulled up in Mine Repos, which is about 15 minutes out of Bundaberg. Um, you can see the van parked up behind here. We are fortunate enough that our friends, who are, you can see their van parked up right there, are uh, um, managing the caravan park here, which is currently closed. So, but we are fortunate enough to be able to stay here with no one around. But if I swing around here, Right here, we just got the little beach. Absolutely stunning over a beach. Um, we are here for about three weeks. We're here for a while, so we're just uh, a little bit more of the beach there. We're just chilling, we're slowing down a bit. It's all been pretty hectic lately, so we're chilling. We're just catching up on some things, um, hanging out with the guys. Uh, but yeah, so we will um, get stuck into this. We're just gonna show you around Bundaberg. It's a beautiful place, like Mon Repos is about, just over about eight minutes away is the town of Bargara, which is a beautiful little seaside town. Um, it's, there's a scooter track that goes from here, so we've been allegedly scootering into Bargara. It's about, as I said, it's about 15 minutes from Bundaberg. This beach is actually a turtle, um, turtle sanctuary in the season. It gets covered in turtles laying eggs, which unfortunately we're not here for, but right next door is a turtle center um yeah we've just been out surfing every day so we will get stuck into this one and we'll show you around bundy it's where we are actually show you around bundy and around mon repos and whatnot we have a bit of time on hand we're still trying to clean up from the cape so what we're going to do we're going to pull everything out of the van show you what sort of stuff we travel with it's not going to be a comprehensive uh video on it all it's just be a quick uh show throwing a bit of time lapse pulling everything out we'll show you if what if any, what we pull out of the van and what we decide we don't want to keep. Um, we regularly strip our van out. So this will be, we've been on the road for about 10 months now. This will be the third time we pulled everything out. Make sure we're not just collecting too much junk. Make sure we're not getting too heavy. Uh, I'll give everything a good clean over. I know that is everything out of the cupboards and whatnot. Oh, as you can see, just some cords and stuff. But cupboards are empty, don't mind the mess in here. Uh, so all that's left in here now is our bedding, our two bedroom remotes, the boys' bedding, and they're closing these drawers because we just because we don't want to get them out just yet. Um, but yeah, so and I'll swing you outside and just show you what we got left in hatches and stuff out there. But yeah, we um. Just so you know exactly what we're doing. We're not going to pull them out today, so. In the tunnel boot, we have the, they, the driver mirrors. They'll go on back on the car so they don't get any. That's a different jockey wheel that's going to go with the van when we sell it. We always travel with two swags, and that up there is a paddleboard. We've got two paddleboards with us. Um, in this hatch right here. That's just the barbecue. Which we are tossing up about not taking with us anymore because we're changing our cooking setup. So if you reckon if you reckon we need to, let us know. Drop it in the comments. Should we keep the barbecue? But and then in here is just all the bits and pieces setting up the van. So we've got fire pit, solar panel, water hoses, axe, spare cassette, diesel tank just to get um, diesel for the diesel heater. So nothing nothing too much in there and then around on this one we have our garden shed so basically in there is a pump for the paddle board there's another paddle board there's life jackets there's balls that have fallen everywhere there's bloody bow and arrows there is workout bands and mats there's uh camp oven there is oil bottle i believe uh, yeah just and a spa oh, there's a spare disc and whatnot from when you would have seen there are fixed that tire right there that brakes on that that's carrying them as spares so yeah pretty much and then we'll swing over here and we'll go over what we've actually pulled out of here so this is it we should have a big garage sale. That'll help it out. But yeah, so we've got kitchen gear. 
we have bathroom one of these is games for the boys um, there's hiking bags we have school gear more bathroom stuff our absolutely enormous pile of clothes that will not be this big by the time we finished um, we just brought that soda stream coffee machine can't go without that then we've got bikes and under there is um, surfboards another paddleboard our chairs air fryer um, yeah so as you see it is very very easy to just accumulate more stuff than what you what you realize you've got um, so now we are going to sort through all this and cull anything we believe we don't need um, this job would be much worse if we weren't staring at them views right out there but um, yeah so we're going to get stuck into culling all this and when we finish we'll show you what if any we, I don't know, we might decide that we need it all um, what we get rid of. Yeah, having a good run with these GoPros. Bloody just pulled the battery out from doing that time lapse and bloody thing had melted into the camera. Then to pull it out and pull the top off it. That's the second one in a couple of weeks. Get your act together, GoPro, you're killing us. But anyway, we're gonna, here like I said, we're gonna clean up and sort out all this stuff and cull a bit. Oh, I don't mind there. Oh, yeah, that's looking a bit rugged. Right, let's get stuck into it. Everybody clearly needs two pairs of cons and two pairs of runners, nearly identical. I think Ailey might be going on a closed diet. Don't tell her that. Four tins of coconut cream, all from different shops. Be rude not to. And clearly everyone needs 14 hats. No, 15. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we do got under him. Hello. No, nah, definitely don't need one of them. <laughs> That's gonna go. This is what we come up with, four bags. So we've got two bags of complete just rubbish that we're just tossing. We've got one bag to donate to Salvos. Um, it's just clothes that Daniel and I weren't wearing and the boys have grown out of and some shoes. And a whole bag here of like the kids' toys, some books that they've already read, we don't need anymore. Uh, utensils, containers, things that we just weren't using, cups and things like that. So I reckon that we've got between 30 to 50 kilos of stuff here, especially in this bag. It's like actually quite heavy. Um, yeah, so this, we do this quite regularly actually. We um, clean up and cull our van probably every two, three months. Um, it just makes more room in the van. Um, you're obviously dumping your weight because look, as you go along the way, you know, um, traveling, you buy things, you put things in, um, the kids want things. So there's always things going into the van. So now we're taking things out <laughs> and it's a good, good 30 to 50 kilos worth of stuff. So we're really happy with that. Means we can get more beer in. Well, the weather has turned bloody miserable. And the boys are sitting here eagerly. We've been, we told them if they'd done their schoolwork this morning without whinging and whining and carrying on, which they're actually quite good. It's not a major struggle. Well, not all the time. We told them we'll take them somewhere fun. We've given them a heap of cryptic clues, so they've got no idea. Ew, I'm, it's, it's, it's magic, <laughs> I don't know. It's driving them absolutely nuts. So anyway, we are going, we're going into Bundaberg. That's all we've, one thing they do know and we're going to take them to somewhere that i think they'll like so we'll get in there and we'll bring the surprise to everyone uh, i love being cruel to my children so they found worked it out we're at the, at the chocolate shop oh, hang on i've left the keys in the car Ugh, probably not the smartest of things to do but yeah so we're going to come in and apparently we've told we've just been told by heaps of people since we've been here that um, that's one place that we have to check out, so that's what we're doing. We're going in and we're gonna spend way too much money on chocolate, I'm assuming. But what do you do? Uh, we'll get in there and we'll check out this chocolate shop and see if it's worth the hype. Trouble, you best be where. And go 
hold it down. I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. Oh, do you reckon you got a golden ticket in there? No. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, I've seen a few. You do? Yeah. I've been on their Facebook page and yeah, they've had a few, few of them. There you go, we might be in the, might be in the shop for a golden mean, ticket. I need to get one. Oh. oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. $132 worth of chocolate later. Uh, hey, check this bag out. We got free chocolate because... Yeah, we got some free stuff, but... Because they're broken. Out. Once they're broken, they can't use it, so they just gave it to us. Never been accused of doing things in halves. So, you know you're in a bit of strife when you spend $132 in the chocolate shop. Is that how much it costs? Oh. Uh, anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, if, if you've been watching since the start, you would know that we are pretty partial to a bit of a chocolate factory or a chocolate shop. But Cha Cha <laughs> Chocolate in Bundy is a banger. So, uh, what do we get, boys? Go on, show them the love. What else is we've got Rocky Road, we got some spiced peanuts, we got Willy Wonka chocolate bars. Up, chocolate bars. Right, I'll get into them, show everyone. Okay. Do we win a golden ticket? You start. So, just so you know, Jackson for school this term is doing Willy Wonka. And the Charlie choc and the. Willy Wonka. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's doing that. <laughs> Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So, he knows now what the main character feels like opening up trying to get his golden ticket so if it was in the packet jet's uh jet's lost it but nah this one's not a winner nah so uh, what are they inside the golden foil are they yeah. right i know no dice there they've got one more each so they'll check that later but how's the willy wonka chocolate good <laughs> bro this is better than normal <laughs> uh, if, I, if they said they weren't excited, they would be absolutely kidding you. They were like kids in a bloody lolly shop, funnily enough. Anyway, we're going to... not eating all that at once. No, uh, yeah. We're going to probably crack into a little bit of this. I think, yeah, anyway, just uh, cha-cha chocolate in Bundaberg. It's an absolute banger. Like every chocolate shop, it's probably a little dearer than what you play for a block of chocolate, but it's all about the experience. And it's bloody good chocolate too, by the sound of it.